In this video, we're going to graph a circle by hand. Say we have the circle given by x minus 1 squared plus y plus 2 squared equals 4. So the first thing we have to do is find the center of the circle. So to find the center, all you have to do is look at these numbers here and switch the signs. So there's a negative 1, that's going to become a positive 1. And there's a positive 2, so that becomes a negative 2. So again, to find the center, you just look at these numbers here and switch the signs. The radius is the square root of whatever is here, always. So it's the square root of 4. So in this case, the radius is 2. So now we'll draw our y-axis and our x-axis. So here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis. x, y. And the first thing we do is plot the center. So the center is 1, negative 2. So from the origin, we go right 1, and then down 2, and we put a dot. So that red dot, that's our center. So now from the center, we're going to travel a distance of 2, because that's the radius. So the easiest way to do this is to just go up 2, put a dot, down 2, put a dot, right 2, put a dot, and then left 2, put a dot. So again, step one, you plot your center, which is this red dot here. Now it's blue. <laughs> and then you go up, down, left, and right by two. Finally, to finish, you just connect the dots and try to make a circular object. If your picture doesn't look great, you can just make the dots bigger. <laughs> Looks a little better. Okay, to find the domain, the domain is all of the x values. So starting from the left, the smallest one is negative 1. It's always a bracket for circles. And the biggest one is 3. To find the range, you just look at the y value. So the smallest y value is 1, 2, 3, 4. So negative 4. And the biggest one is 0. Again, the domain is left to right, and it's x values. So negative 1 all the way to 3. The range is y values, and you go from the bottom up, negative 4 all the way to 0. Let's check our domain and range using another method. This is just for fun. To check the domain, you can take the x-coordinate of the center and add and subtract the radius. So if you do 1 minus 2, you get negative 1. And if you do 1 plus 2, you get 3. So the domain should be negative 1 to 3. And it is. To check the range, you take the y-coordinate of the center and you add and subtract the radius. So negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4, and then negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So the range should be negative 4 to 0, and it is. Check. Just an optional way to check the domain and range. I hope that made sense.